It's a tale in three very distinct acts. Act one, Stuart and Penny are perfect strangers. They're separated by 90 miles of, of roads uh, between Lexington and Louisville. Stuart uh, and his uh, wife Marilyn raised three wonderful kids. Uh, we're blessed with five wonderful grandchildren. Stuart, a successful businessman, a, uh, a devout uh, leader in his uh, congregation. Penny and her husband Bob raised uh, two all right kids and definitely have two beautiful granddaughters. Penny, a, a very successful professor who not only is a published scholar but more importantly touched the lives of hundreds of students across the state. I do not pass a week in my travels where I do not run into one of her students who, teach, who, te who, tell me, who teaches me how much uh, she uh, played a crucial role in their lives. And so, in Act One, we have these two very happy, complete families, two successful lives, uh, two very blessed uh, uh, unions. Act Two is, is much sadder. Uh, while their kids continue to grow, uh, while their grandchildren uh, continue to succeed, while their careers uh, move towards their natural ends, uh, they lose the great loves in their lives. With, with Marilyn, uh, his beloved, Stuart was empty with, with the loss of, of Bob, my father. Uh, I know my mom was heartbroken. But Act Three gives us a much happier ending, uh, where the two uh, perfect strangers meet and fall in love and overcome every obstacle. She, uh, a feminist, reformed Jew. He, a traditional Orthodox Jew. She, an Al Gore-loving, tree-hugging, liberal Democrat. <laughs> He, a Ronald Reagan, adoring, tax-cutting, conservative Republican. <laughs> and the greatest challenge of all, she, a University of Kentucky Wildcat fan, and he, a Louisville Cardinal fan. <laughs> and if you're from Kentucky or know anything about basketball, you know how difficult that was, that bridge was to cross. Uh, but uh, as you all know, uh, these are two people with remarkable personalities. I've known this all my life, but as I walked around tonight, I was reminded constantly about how much uh, you all adore these two people. And I know I speak from, from our families, both Stuart's and mine, uh, when I tell you how deeply grateful I am for you helping make their lives such a, a blessed union. Uh, the people in this room uh, have made uh, their lives so much happier and more complete, uh, whether you're members of this congregation or from uh, all across this country, you have become part of their family, and as such, you've become part of ours. Uh, but most of all, I just want to, want to uh, emphasize how much Stuart and Penny cherish each other. I am very hopeful that this Act Three uh, lasts a long time. I hope their marriage exceeds uh, uh, the marriage of, of my own grandparents. Uh, and I know that it's going to be filled with great joy because these are two uh, newlyweds who are still very much in love. Uh, Stuart, you have made uh, my mother so happy these past couple years, and uh, I cannot be my mother's keeper, uh, and so it is such a, a wonderful uh, blessing for you to be in her life, and I know the Harris family feels the same way about my mom, who has given so much to her family, to her community, and to her marriage, so I wish you all the best, and uh, I know on behalf of everybody in this room, uh, we, uh, we will hope you have many more years of great blessing for all of us. Thank you. And we have a Sadaka box. Uh, Stuart is so good with the money. <laughs> a beautiful picture for their apartment. Thank you, Jonathan. I guess I did deserve all the praise. <laughs> First, I want to thank Jonathan. That was very nice what he said. 
but uh, I'm not a public speaker like my wife, but I'll do the best I can. And uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank God for bestowing this honor on Penny and me. We are so appreciative that you, you will all have come this evening. A very special thank you and love goes to our family and our friends outside of Young Israel community who have honored us with their everlasting support. Many of you have asked, how did Penny and I ever get together? <laughs> well, our brilliant Kentucky matchmakers are here tonight. And I would like to introduce them, Rosetta Beerman and Susan Collar. Please stand, ladies, for well-deserved applause. You know they will get a good spot in heaven. <laughs> now I'm going to turn the program over to my beautiful and loving wife, Penny May Mullins Miller Harris, <laughs> who earned more speaking time because, because her candidate won the presidency. <laughs> As you can see, we are thrilled with this honor. Thank you so much. And we are so grateful to Rabbi Grunstein and his caring wife, Rena, to our new co-presidents, Jack Gluck and Daniel Courtney, and their supportive wives, Susan and Jessica. And we are so grateful to the entire Young Israel community. This evening, we are so delighted to introduce our new friends from Young Israel and from the Shul to our family, old friends and sage colleagues. More than 60 people here tonight. Thank you. Please, before you leave tonight, say hi to our children and grandchildren, Jonathan, Emily, Jeffrey, Donna, Glenn, Ross, Michael, Lori, Maya, Jada, and Josie. And little Josie is in the room right now and she's five months old. Also, please be sure to meet my parents, Myrtle and Arnold Mullins, who as you heard in the video, celebrated their 69th wedding anniversary last October. <laughs> Stuart checked me out ahead of time with Rosetta and Susan and saw that I was from good stock. <laughs> also, please tonight say hi to my sister Susan, who flew in this morning from Great Neck, to my brother Jeffrey, and to my nephew, Andrew. And as a teacher, I would be remiss if I didn't give you a short, special message this evening. This is an exciting time for young Israel. It's filled with new opportunities and challenges. Since we so desperately need a new shul, Let's work together with the greatest speed. Along with our new board and the rabbi, we must strive for more openness and accountability to the entire congregation. We must encourage everyone's participation. Each member has something to offer to make young Israel a tremendous success. There is so much talent in this congregation. We need your time, your passion, 
your energies, and of course, your money. <laughs> so we just want to say again how thrilled we are to have this honor, and thank you so much for coming this evening. Says the young Israel of Bell Harbor proudly honors Stuart and Penny Harris with sincere gratitude and appreciation for your educational teaching, hard work, and dedication to help create a warm, successful shul full of love and ruach. Moshe Grunstein, Rabbi. Listen to Penny, she talks about accountability, transparency, change we need, change we believe in. I wonder who she voted for. <laughs> and now we're going to have a uh, short video on our other guests of honor, Shelly and Miriam Lisbon. Please give it your attention. I'm very honored to stand here before you tonight in representing my family as well as my sister Julie's family in honoring our parents. I am sure my parents will always cherish both this moment and this award. Now, while flying to America from my home in Eretz Israel, I was thinking about what I should say here tonight. As the LL aircraft approached JFK, it struck me like a ton of bricks. You and I, ladies and gentlemen of, of uh, Young Israel, are working at cross purposes. I want my parents to make Aliyah, and you obviously want them to stay in Miami. By showing such covet to my parents, you are tying my mother and father ever more tenaciously to, to your wonderful and very special community. You see, my sister Julie, my parents and I, along with our respective families, all had our own homes just a couple blocks from each other in Silver Spring, Maryland. On Shabbos afternoon, we usually ate lunch together at my parents' house. Naturally, my sister Julie and her family, who still live in Silver Spring, Maryland, tried to convince my parents to stay in Maryland. Well, I made Aliyah around the same time my parents made Yerida, moved down to Florida, in the summer of 2006. Now, Julie would never forgive me if I succeeded in convincing my parents to make Aliyah directly from Silver Spring, Maryland. So I had a two-stage plan. Stage one has succeeded. My parents are here in Florida. Um, however, stage two has been a little bit of a problem. Stage two was to get them out of Florida and have them move to Eretz Israel with just a little convincing. How wrong I was. You've just been too nice to my parents. I was hoping that the community here would be cold and indifferent to my parents, but no. You had to open up your arms to them, you had to make them feel at home, welcome them into your homes, and you even had the audacity to put my father on the board of directors. You're really pulling out all the stops to keep them here. But in all seriousness, my parents are truly fortunate to have moved to your community and to have joined your school. During my visits to your community, I've noticed how, how, how you have accepted my parents so warmly. They have made many friends at Young Israel and are truly very happy. Also, my sister and I and our families are very proud that our parents have become so involved in your shul and have substantially contributed to its growth. Now at this time, um, I'd like to present, I ask my parents to come up so I can present them with this with an award. Shelly and Miriam Lisbon, with sincere gratitude and appreciation for your endless dedication, 
involvement and enthusiasm in building and maintaining a thriving and successful show in Jewish learning community. The 8th Annual Journal Banquet, February 15, 2009. try to keep this short, which I'm known for. <laughs> Can they hear me now? <laughs> Good evening, Toshiba Rabbani, dear relatives and our dear friends. Miriam and I appreciate the honor you've shown us tonight by attending the 8th Annual Young Israel Dinner. We are at this moment extremely emotional and overwhelmed. We would like to acknowledge the presence of my brothers, Rabbi Benjamin Lisbon, the rabbi based in Silel Chabad in Los Angeles, and Rabbi Ohana Lisbon, the rabbi of Ohel Leib Yitzhak Lubavitch in Baltimore. We are all delighted to have here tonight our sister, Rechama Thaler from Los Angeles. It is not that often we four siblings have the opportunity to be together. We also are proud to have here tonight my children and grandchildren, Dennis and Rachel, Lisbon, and our grandchildren, Shalom Lay from Fuchaya and Sarah Chaviva, who flew in from Beit Shemesh, and Julie and her husband, Cheslo Schreiber, and our grandchildren, Shani, Ari, Dina, and Daniela, who came down from Silver Spring, Maryland. Miriam and I are honored to have from Boca our Uncle Julius and Aunt Sylvia Dorfman and cousin Hannah Cohen, also in the cousin department. In attendance tonight are Helene Weinberg and Ronnie Michelin from Naples, Florida, and Michal Dorfman our cousins from Silver Spring. Present tonight are two very distinguished women, Mrs. Sarah Gross, who is the principal of the Secular Division of Beis Yaakov, and Mrs. Angela Caperso, who is the principal of the Secular Division of Beis Hana. I teach at both of these fine institutions, and I'm very grateful for their being here tonight. We are also grateful to have both of Miriam's co-teachers from Torah Samus, Rebetzin Grunstein and Rebetzin Learfield. It is quite an honor for Miriam and me to stand here before you tonight. We are truly indebted to, to all of you. Rabbi Grunstein, Nori de Ashra of our show, has been a true source of support since our arrival in Surfside. We value the close relationship we have with our rabbi and Rabbits and Grunstein and look forward to many more years together with the blessing of Hashem. Our congregation has expanded appreciably in the last three years. Our goal as members of the Young Israel is to bring Kedusha holiness into our lives by fulfilling the mitzvahs prescribed by our Torah and our sages. Well, Baba Cherebi expounded on various topics relating to Mishpatim. One of his many jewels of wisdom has remained with me all my life. The Rebbe said, doing a mitzvah which constitutes every facet of one's being not only involves one's power of action and speech, but also one's emotion, intellect, and will. Each mitzvah must be affirmed by the deepest reaches of the person so that the mitzvah is performed with joy. This joy even applies to chukim, statutes, which are beyond our understanding. Indeed, the desire to serve Hashem in our, out of love for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, should be so strong that even one's intellect must positively respond with joy and enthusiasm in fulfilling his statutes. That is a madrega, a level to which Miriam and I aspire to. By allowing Miriam and me to fulfill so many mitzvahs as members of the Young Israel, you all are in fact assisting us in attaining that proper level of joy and enthusiasm in serving Hashem as taught by the Rebbe. You have made it possible for both of us to fulfill the mitzvah of Beit Adam Lechavero between man and his friend. Thank you all for making this beautiful celebration and bestowing upon Miriam and me such a coveted honor. Now Miriam has a few words to say. I really didn't prepare any words of wisdom tonight, but I want to thank everyone for coming from far and near, as the rabbi would sometimes say. And we want to thank Penny and Stuart Harris, especially for being our co-honorees and for everything that they did for Shelley while he was in the hospital and when he came home. They made our Shabbosing, Lebedic, and wonderful, and they just made us from the time of recovery room, they were even there during surgery, to the time of his rehab. They were there every step of the way. 
So they can't have better friends than that at any time. Thank you so much. And I want to thank, of course, my whole family for being here. My children, my aunts, my cousins, my grandchildren, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-laws, my aunt, my uncle, and everyone. And it's truly an honor for us that you have come here to see us and to be with us tonight. Thank you very much. Thank all of you. You've been an amazing audience. It's amazing that you were able to keep quiet for so long. You must have all signed pledges with the rabbi or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, I really appreciate um, I really appreciate all the nice words that were said here tonight. And uh, we hope that uh, we will have uh, many, many happy occasions together. And knock us from all our kids and everything good. Have a good evening. Enjoy yourselves.